Today we're going to show you a couple techniques for minimizing the amount of air bubbles that you might entrap inside your mold when you're using casting resin. Here we have a mold that has a lot of detail. This is actually a coal load for a model train uh, car and you put black resin in there and it makes a coal load. So this has a lot of detail, a lot of porosity and what happens is little air bubbles tend to get um, formed inside these little crevices because the resin doesn't necessarily flow in all those little nooks and crannies. So in dealing with uh, a mold like this, the best thing to use is use some baby powder. And you just start by just sprinkle a little bit of powder in there. And then just take a, use a, a brush and kind of dab it all around to get it into the nooks and crannies of the mold. You just need a light film. You don't want a bunch of powder packed in there because we're going to tap it out, dump out the excess here in a minute. And now we have a mold that's dusted with this baby powder. So let's go ahead and mix up our resin and we'll show you how it works. When mixing resin you want to mix it nice and slowly because the faster you mix the more air you can build into your resin. So you want to minimize that by just stirring slowly, not real briskly. Mix thoroughly though, making, making sure or ensuring to scrape the sides of your cup, the bottom of the container, and your stick. Alumilite resins are pretty thin, so they mix pretty nicely. You don't have to mix them real fast. We've added a little black dye here to mimic coal for a coal load. So as soon as we have it thoroughly mixed, we can move to the mold to cast our part. Pick one corner and just pour nice and slowly. Let the resin self-level and naturally flow in and around the detail. The baby powder on the surface acts like a wicking mechanism and pulls the resin to the surface. It's kind of like when you have raindrops that form on your windshield and when the, when the raindrops kind of run into each other they're attracted to each other and they pull each other together. It just kind of acts as a, a wicking mechanism for the resin to be pulled into the surface of the mold. Now when we have molds like this, like this little gargoyle, and the mold is kind of deep and it has a lot of nooks and crannies and crevices, you can go ahead and use the baby powder in this as well, but there's another technique you can use to help the air bubbles. So go ahead and fill your mold about maybe a third to a half the way. And then take a break and just squeeze the mold and kind of burp so that you get any air pockets that might be forming. You kind of squeeze them out. And those air bubbles should somewhat come to the surface. And after you get it done, you can put a little bit more resin give it another burp or two until all those little pockets are filled with resin. And 